Last year, the Ole Miss Rebels beat the Alabama Crimson Tide 23-17 at home in Oxford in what was one of the most memorable moments of the 2014 college football season. This Saturday, the Rebels will travel to Tuscaloosa in hopes of breaking their 0-12 record in Bryant-Denny Stadium. I'm here to break out the five key points in order for Ole Miss to beat Alabama. Number one is quarterback play. Chad Kelly is now a key component in his offense. He's proven that he deserves to be the starter, but this Saturday will be his first true test. He needs to be a game manager. The Rebels can't afford turnovers and he can't force throws. Kelly has proven that he can throw the deep ball, and most importantly, the receivers have stated that they have trust in their quarterback. Number two, block out the hostile environment. Many people give credit to LSU's Death Valley as being the loudest stadium in the SEC. From my experience, however, Bryant Denny can be just as loud. It's important for the Rebels to be able to block out what's going on behind them and to focus on the game. Number three, defense. Ole Miss is known for their defense and it will be important to utilize it. You can't miss tackles. Alabama has had inconsistency at the quarterback play. Jake Cooker will likely start this Saturday, however Nick Saban has also switched over to Cooper Bateman. Whoever is in at the quarterback position, it will be important for the Rebels defense to rattle them. But outside the quarterback position, Alabama also has their two-headed monster in running backs Kenyon Drake and Derrick Henry. It will be vital to start their running game and it will likely take more than one defender to stop them. Number four, Rebels need to establish a running game. Alabama has one of the best defensive fronts in the country. Ole Miss's running game has hurt them in the past and it's hard to win a game without running ability. In order to keep the Tide's defense honest, the Rebels O-line needs to create a strong push-up front in order to open up lanes for the backs. Number five, special teams. Alabama's kicker Adam Griffith is 0 for 4 in field goal attempts, including missing a 24-yard field goal in last Saturday's matchup against Middle Tennessee. Nick Saban won't want to kick a field goal, so it will be important for Ole Miss to win at the special team game. Are the Rebels SEC ready? We'll find out on Saturday. With GridironNow.com, I'm Ashley Barnett.